everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Alex and in today's video is um, just going to be a bit of a look at some of the things that are going on in my garden. Um, some of you may be like, I thought this was a succulent channel but I just thought because I mentioned it in my last video that I may do, I would um, show you guys and then um, see what you think really because there's a lot of really nice things going on and it would be nice to share it and... Um, if people just want to see the succulents, then let me know in the comments and I'll just try and stick to that. But anyway, without any further ado, we'll go and have a look at this hydrangea. So as you can probably hear, it's absolutely full of um, bees and flies pollinating it. But this is a really nice uh, climbing hydrangea that's in full bud at the moment. And... There's lots of bees. And flies, as I mentioned. So there you go, I'll just give you some close-up shots. Seems to be more flies over this way. One there. So yeah, it's great to see that. And uh, next, I think I'll show you these these apple trees here. So I've kind of grown these myself. These three. Um, I bought them maybe two years ago, and they were only about maybe this tall as you can see they've really taken off I've just repotted them recently and uh, this one's actually producing some fruit so that'll be the first year it's it's done so and there's another one down in there too so yeah, there's that and then next up this is um, a little bit past its best but this is a pelagonium um, it looked great um, as you can see from the flowers, but a little bit past its best, as I said, but there's quite a few new buds coming. So, there you go. And then this is my vegetable patch. Um, so we've got some rhubarb here, uh, black currants, and we've also got raspberries up here too. And then kind of in the midst of all that is a uh, couple of irises, which are quite nice. So there you go, that's that area. And then we've got some lilies that are going to come into flower soon, hopefully. Some pelagoniums here that I potted up, or geraniums, uh, that should come into flower soonish. And then here we've got a hanging basket that's got probably far too many uh, tomato plants in. This is a uh, bushy type. So, um,. It doesn't need staking or anything, and we'll see how they go on. Um, and then next, you all kind of have seen this area, this is my kind of succulent takeover area, so it's got got these nice jades and uh, sempervivums, which look really good at the moment, and uh, I potted these up into a, a separate, into their own pot. And these should be coming into flower soon. All these sympathivums, arachnoid. And then this is my agave americana verga, which is looking a little bit better. And and this is a really nice form of gladiolus. So this is gladiolus alba. It's got a white flower with a yellow and purple inner. So I can actually see some of the... Uh, Buds are getting very close to opening now, so hopefully I'll get a chance to do a video when they open if you want to see that. And uh, this is the aloe black gem. Now I've not been watering this at all, I've kind of just left it out here hoping for some rain, but we've had a really bad drought <laughs> really all through all of May and now into June, so uh, it's looking a little bit sad. And then this is how my greenhouse is looking at the moment, so we've got um, courgettes, or if you're in America, zucchini, 
So we've got lots of flowers coming, which will bear uh, bear the fruit soon or vegetables. And then in here I've now got some grow bags, which have got uh, three tomato plants in, and then the same on this side as well. And then in here we've just got a couple of pots of tomatoes too, which were just left over and I didn't really want to kill them. And then in here are peas. So they've, they're coming into flower now, so hopefully we'll get some, some peas forming soon. And then on the left hand side we've got uh, tomato plants, vine type. Um, got a load of lettuce here and more tomatoes. And I think that's this area. So next up we've got this really nice scented geranium. If you rub the leaf it's got a, a great smell to it but the flowers are really good too. And uh, as you can see this bee seems to be really enjoying himself. So there you go, that's a really nice plant. And then um, I'll show you what else is going on. So this is one of my aces that a friend of mine's dad actually gave me. Uh, I think it was last year or the year before, but it's got a really nice foliage to it. They come out bright red um, in spring, but they kind of fade to this um, more orangey, reddy green colour as the year goes by. So, and then we've got another ace here, which is uh, which is my dad's. And then whilst we're here, um, I've got a big tray of uh, wildflowers that it was like a, a, a seed packet that said um, seeds for bees and butterflies and stuff. So I thought I'd have a go at growing those and um, they've grown really well, didn't need any kind of special care and hopefully we'll get a couple of flowers this year. Um, next up we've got a border area but this is uh, the plant that I really like. This is a Thalictrum de la Vite and it's, um, it comes up on these big big long stalks really quite tall and then it produces these little purple lantern looking flowers and uh, if you get a lot of them it kind of looks like a big purple flower haze like a cloud so look that one up if you've never seen it before, it's really nice. And uh, we should have quite a few this year, from the looks of it it's grown very strongly. But the stems can actually turn completely purple if you have them in full sun. Um, but as you can see this one's kind of more in a dappled area. And then in this area we've got lots of, lots of things, so this azalea's kind of just finished flowering. Um, but then we've got things like uh, Aguilegia there, which is also known as uh, Columbine, I think the Amer you Americans call it. So we've got quite a few of those around here. And then you can just see the cat here. <laughs> and uh, we've got some roses just coming into into bud now. And uh, yeah, that's this area pretty much. And then here we've got these really nice ferns. Um, so they're in a quite shady area and they do really great in this garden. Um, got quite a lot of them all around here. And all the way along these hedgerows. There's another one. And then here we've got honeysuckle. And um, there's quite a lot of that higher up as well. And then along here we've got a load of uh, pink, pink coloured flowers from geraniums. So they look really nice. And then I'll show you another area of the garden. So this I don't know the name of, but it's absolutely covered in flowers, pink and white ones. So if you know what the name of that one is, please let me know. So next up, I thought I'd show you this um, Osteospermum, which is also known as an African daisy. 
This is a hardy variety, so it survives outside during the winter, which is useful. But um, there's quite a lot of flowers, and there's loads of buds coming. So as we go through summer, there should be more and more. So there's that. And I'll give you another quick look. Lots of bees and stuff today, which is great to see. And a little fly down here. Ooh. And then in here I've got another hanging basket with uh, the bush type tomatoes, so we'll see how they get on. They've got a bit more room to grow, because there's only three in here, so they should be... They should do quite well. Uh, and then over here I've got my big ball of sedums. Hardy sedums. As you can see, this one's coming into bloom, and you can see there's a little offset coming off of there, which is coming into bloom too. And the other variety are also starting to produce the flower buds at the top. So this should be quite a nice sight in a couple of weeks' time. Um, this is a heather, which looked really great a couple of weeks ago, but it's uh, past its best now. But there's still a little bee there trying to enjoy it. Uh, this is a bowl of strawberry plants and uh, a holly and then the rest of the garden is there's not too much going on but I'll give you a quick look at some of the highlights so here we've got a load more of the columbine or aquilegia different coloured ones lots of those this year and then here we have a plant that I can't remember the name of, but it's got these really nice hanging red flowers. Um, it's covered in this year, there's lots of them. So that's really nice. And then this is another form of Thalictrum. As you can see, the, the leaf shape is quite similar to the one I showed you before, but much larger. And it produces these kind of mops. Whereas the other one's much more of like a big cloud. Um, so yeah, there you go. And then here we've got a really large rose bush which is producing lots of buds. So maybe in a couple of weeks' time I'll be able to show you that. And then up here we've got a, a big large apple tree. So I really hope you found that interesting and you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you did. And. Um, Thank you very much for watching.